YouTube, this your boy Mel, but take one to my comment at you, yo, I got a very special guest on set today with me, my man Jason C. Peters, what's up, man? Chilling, chilling. Hey, so how things been going with um everything in your life? Pretty good, just been really, really busy, focused, and, uh, you know, achieving greatness. Okay, um, tell everybody a little, maybe tell somebody something they may not know about Jason Peters. Just anything? Anything you want. Well, something that's good, I guess, is like I was raised by my grandparents, mm -hmm. uh, and they adopted me and my two brothers, older mm -hmm. brothers, Josh and Jesse. Uh, so it was an interesting life, but yeah, so that's something that most people don't know. Oh, wow. Do you think that, that um, your growing up situation actually inspired you to be the person that you are today? Yeah, because I, I, we, were raised very, we were raised not with a lot of money, but um, we are given everything, the best life you could have. So I think that has like, pushed me to want to achieve more and um, have a more comfortable way of living. Okay. Now, um, there are so many people out there who um, are younger who may have an interest in um, going to the fashion. What kind of um, advice would you give them? As far as? As far as like storing the line or being in fashion? Uh, well, I would always say, I just had a conversation with my friend about this this morning, like at 2 a.m. Um, I would say as far as fashion, I don't really read fashion magazines or anything like that. I would say to just be your own creative person, and whatever you want to do, do. Don't follow the trends. If the color for spring is yellow, do, do the opposite. Just do you. Because when you read fashion magazines and follow everything that goes on in fashion, it's going to take away from what you're doing. You're going to think what you're doing is wrong because it's off what the trend is. You know what I mean? So to not really follow the trend and just um, work really, really hard, and everything will happen you know, in your favor when you work really hard. Okay, awesome advice. Now, as you know, I do my research. I understand. Weren't you once a model? Or do you still matter yeah, what's going actually, on? You know what? That happened when um, I was like younger, younger years. But I still, um, still do that. Uh, I just actually walked in New York Fashion Week in, in February. So I, I do walk in Fashion Week every season. Um, and I still do modeling. It's, it's picking up again now in my life. So I've been getting this body right and uh, <laughs> everything else. So yeah, I still do modeling here. Yeah. Um, who are some people you think in the model industry? Is there anybody right now you look up to? Uh, as far as models, um, well, Tyson Beckford. I think he's really cool. I've met him many times. He's given me great advice. He's a cool person. Um, so as far as men, I would say him. But there's a really, really dope kid out right now. Uh, he has freckles all over his face. I don't know what his name is, but I think he's dope as shit. And I would love to get him in my designs. So I think him. And then there's also a beautiful girl uh, who has a... I guess they would say a skin disease, but it's really a skin beauty to me. Um, I actually just did a fashion show last week where I used real people. So I had a, um, a young man who had Down syndrome. I used a single mother. Um, you know, I used somebody who was a domestic violence survivor. So I like, uh, you know, inspiring people in that way. But I think Tyson is obviously an influence. And I think that kid with the freckles, I think he is dope as fuck. So yeah. Okay, so now we've talked about fashion. we talked about modeling. Do you have um, any plans of going to any um, other areas of entertainment such as maybe acting? Yeah, you know, I've, I've been given <laughs> offer different opportunities for reality TV and uh, things of that nature. So right now I'm just sitting down and thinking what would be the best um, opportunity. I mean, I just actually went to an event for Cutting It in the ATL. So we filmed that for WeTV. So you may see me on a quick episode. But uh, stuff like that is something that I think is cool. Um, but more reality TV based on realness in my life and things like that. Okay, what is your um, what is your belief or your feelings towards reality TV? My belief? Your beliefs or feelings towards reality TV? Uh, I think it's it's cool if you do it the right way. Uh, you gotta be careful because uh, you know everything changes and um, like you know you could be saying one thing and they can edit it and chop it up. But I mean, if you're gonna do it, you can, I was on reality TV in 2009. Um, you have to be prepared for the world to know who you are and be involved in your life because there's some stuff you may not want them to know but it's, it's going to be too late you know what I mean? okay so now you were on a little um web-based show a hit one on um, boys next door um just in like maybe a short brief brief sentence or something or just tell me about your experience what, what was your experience on that show i mean the experience is still going <laughs> but uh it's been really interesting uh i think it's, it's a crazy time um but being on that show has opened in a lot of doors as well. I just went to an event last night, and so many people kept coming up to me, recognizing me, saying they love me on the show and things like that. So uh, it's been good so far. Um, you know, what you see is 
TV and uh, lots of things were done for TV and hopefully in the next episodes in the future you'll see more realness and stuff like that. Okay, last question on that. Um, if you're offered to come back for season three, would you? A Boys That Store? Yes. Yeah, you know what? Let, 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 let's just, let, let's just let me say some things. I, I was actually supposed to be in LA. Mm -hmm. We filmed for that an episode where I did a fashion show and everything with BB and Aaron and Brandon mm -hmm. from Boys That Store Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, but I came out here and then, you know, was offered the opportunity to do it and I did it. So, I mean, it all depends on what's going on at that time because right now I have a a lot of different projects I'm working on, which is going to cause me to do a lot of traveling. I'm going back to New York in July, then I'm coming back, I'm going back to New York for Fashion Week in September. Um, so I'm doing a lot of traveling and stuff, so it just depends, really. Okay, so you talked about you having a friend on the Boys Net Door LA, right? Yes. Um, now, how do you feel about it? Because um, I understand, you know, I do my research, that it's actually being changed to the bro code. You know what, I actually, listen, I knew um, BB from Boys Net Store LA back in New York because he models, um, and then I met Brandon, and then I knew Aaron through BB, but um, I'm actually, Eros is really dope, and I'm friends with Jeremy Copeland, who's on the new uh, season, um, and I know a couple of other guys, but um, I think it's cool, it's different, um, and I think they're going to get a lot of attention, because that cast has, a, they have lots of interesting things about their lives and stuff that you will see, but um, Eros is awesome, and, and Jeremy is a really dope dude which you'll see as well. But uh, I think the bro code, I think it's different. It's more, it sounds more like a brotherhood, more, but then it has more of that feeling of like secrets and you know, like what is the bro code? So I think it's gonna do really, really well because Eros is on it and Jeremy's dope. So I think it'll do really 